So when Luke pictures Jesus instituting the Eucharist, and I'm going to read you Luke 22, 14 to 20, he says this. When the hour came, he took his place at table and the apostles with him, and he said to them, I have longed to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, because I tell you, I shall not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Okay, so Jesus is talking about not eating with them again until what he has come to do is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Okay. Then taking a cup, he gave thanks and said, take, take this and share it among you, because from now on I tell you I shall not drink wine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took some bread, and when he had given thanks, broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which will be given for you. Do this as a memorial of me. He did the same with the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which will be poured out for you. Okay. Now, the fact that that passage exists casts light on the story that comes just two chapters later, which is a post-resurrection appearance story. And this story appears only in Luke. Now, you're familiar with the story. I'm not going to take time to read the whole thing to you. But you remember that the two disciples are walking along and talking about Jesus. When Jesus joins them as a stranger, they spend the whole day with him and don't recognize that it is the risen Christ who is in their presence. And Christ reinterprets scripture for them in the light of his own passion, death, and resurrection. Do you remember this? So the story, by the time we get to the part I'm going to um, read to you, the story has already taught us that the risen Christ is present where two are gathered in his name. The risen Christ is present in the stranger on the road, the fellow pilgrim through life. And then it says this, and I'm going to read 24, 28 to 32. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them. Can you hear that's an allusion to the previous story? It's repeating exactly the same words. So we're supposed to connect the institution of Eucharist with this story. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us as, we talked, as he talked to us on the road and explained the scripture to us? Now, as Catholics, we believe that Christ is present in our gathered community. We believe that Christ is present in the word. We believe that Christ is present in the Eucharist. Isn't that right? This story is teaching us all of that. 